Hi everybody, welcome back to Enchanted by You. My name is Cassandra, and I'm so sorry that I have actually been gone for quite a long time. Uh, the channel was picking up, things were going great. I appreciate everyone's support, and things were just doing really wonderful. And then the pandemic hit, and my kids ended up at home. And as you guys know, I'm sure you had struggles with all of that too, but I ended up being a teacher for home, and, and uh, things just got crazy around here. But I am back, and of course I would make it back for Halloween. You guys know I wouldn't miss out on Halloween and doing some amazing videos for you. And I just wanted to do something really cool and really fun today. Show you one of the things that I have done during the pandemic that is a little crazy and a little fun. So we're going to do a cool video on it today. But I, at first I was going to say I bought a haunted doll. But now that I know it's haunted, it's more like I adopted a child, which is good because I bought this doll from a psychic online who had a really good reputation of finding haunted items and haunted dolls, especially. She goes to a lot of estate sales, things like that. And she said that there was not a spirit inside of the doll. It was a spirit that was attached to the doll. And then it was a nine-year-old little boy, and he was from 1928. Now, the doll is not from 1928. I was hoping, because I have my grandmother's doll, which is from the early 20s. But, unfortunately, my baby is not from 1928. However, I have not had a chance to speak to him or talk to him and since I got him and I didn't want to until I could let you guys meet him as well and we could try and talk to him so I'm gonna get his doll because it's not him it's his doll and he really likes his doll and I'm seeing shadows in my room and that's not really good right now I wasn't expecting shadows I was gonna do a spirit box but um oh, I don't like shadows in my house I guess it's time to do a full-on cleansing um, yeah so got this doll and it's not him he's just attached to it so we're going to ask if it's really a nine-year-old little boy what his name is the psychic said that she got his name started with a K is that true but we're gonna go ahead and do the spirit box and ask Ethan and E now if you're new here Ethan and E are actually my spirit guides or some people call them guardian angels and I do not like to say that I'm psychic in any way shape or form but I guess you could say I have a very good relationship with my guides and it allows me to talk to spirits that are around me as well as people that have passed on you will hear their voices in the spirit box that I use I use what's called a PSV 7 spirit box just has a regular cord. Someone's asked me about it before. So I want to make sure I show you guys. And then I have my wonderful JBL old speaker that's great for dropping in cemeteries or dragging around. It is tough as can be. And so that's what I used a lot of the time to communicate with them with. That way we can hear their voices. And I want to hear the voices of my little baby doll. At first he didn't like me. Anytime I touched him I would get horrible, horrible, horrible headaches. From the minute I opened the box that I got him I would get headaches. And uh, one of my friends who's actually a nurse was like, well, you know, you just bought a child. And from being in the paranormal side of things, I never thought of it that way before, but that's absolutely true. I bought a child and am dealing with a child, and so we need to get to know my child. And so I'm going to let you meet him, and hopefully I'll get to meet him too. Okay, so this is my new baby doll, and it's not my baby doll. It belongs to the little boy, and yes, I know that it's a little girl baby doll, but it's, yes, but he really likes it according to the psychic who this is what she does now it's not real porcelain i was kind of disappointed in that i thought it was a lot older um it is plastic and it does have a little tag somewhere on the back saying made in hong kong so it's not like a brand new doll at all it is a much older doll it doesn't say when it was made in Hong Kong but you can just tell from looking at the face which is kind of a little dirty but very interesting looking doll that he has chosen so I'm going to hold the little baby doll and the spirit box and we're going to see if we can get him to talk to us okay it's gonna be a little crazy we'll see how it goes Thank you. 
I'm going to be using again my spirit box so it's going to get really really loud so if you're wearing headphones I recommend you probably take them off at first to start and then you can put them on going forward Some good answers. I did hear Ethan and E come through, and so if he didn't come through and tell us a whole bunch about himself, maybe they did at least. Um, by now, you guys would have already known everything that has come through. Uh, so I hope we got some good stuff. So if you like this video, make sure to hit the like button, and if you like the channel, please subscribe. If you don't like it, that's okay. Just go ahead and hit the dislike button. We love you anyways, and hope everyone is doing well. Don't forget to check out all the merch at teespring.com. I have a whole bunch of new stuff coming out. Sorry I've been away for a long time. I know everyone's been working through the pandemic and everything just like we are. So hopefully you guys are doing okay out there. And it, sound, it looks like it's getting better a little bit for us here. We're getting more in the flow of things as far as homeschooling and all that goes. So I plan on being around a lot, and I will be talking to you guys soon. Love y'all. Take care. Bye.